Hello and welcome to Linux Leech. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the file command. So let's get started. Okay, the first step you want to take is to open up your terminal, and you can do that using the keyboard shortcut, which is holding Control, Alt, and pressing T, or you can open it up from the GUI. Now, the file command allows you to determine a file type by examining its content. Now, the best way to show you this is to show you some examples. So if you have a look at my desktop, I've got a directory here called File Tutorial. So we're just going to CD into that. So CD desktop forward slash file tutorial and hit enter. So now we're just going to LS to see what's inside that directory. And as you can see, there's a number of different files with different extensions. So the first step that we're going to take is type file and then one of the files we want to examine. So let's try index.html and hit enter. And it's been detected as an HTML document and it's readable text. So just to confirm that, we're just going to use less to have a look at the internals of that file. So let's hit enter. And as you can see, it is in fact an HTML document. So we could tell that just by looking at the extension. But what file is actually doing is it's having a look at the contents of the file and then it's making a determination based on what it sees in there. So if we rename index and take off the .html and then run it through file, it should still detect that it is an HTML document. So let's do that just to test it. So we're going to use move to rename index.html and we're just going to call it index and hit enter. If we ls, you can see that we've just renamed it to index and taken off the extension. So now if we type file and then index and hit enter, you can see that it's still detected it as an HTML document. So let's try that with a different file type. So we're going to try it now with this image here, which is my desktop background. So let's just type in file and then the name of the file, which is desktop background linuxleach.jpg and hit enter. And as you can see, it's detected desktop background dash linux dash leech dot jpg as a jpeg image so it contains jpeg image data and is exif standard so you can see that it can detect that that is in fact a picture and to show you that i'm just going to use shotwell and then the name of the file and hit enter and you can see it is in fact my desktop background so let's try that with this other image file. So I'm just going to clear the screen just to make it a little bit clearer and then ls again. So we're going to use this file now. So if we just type file and then picture dot jpeg and hit enter, you can see that the jpeg is empty. So it hasn't detected any readable data in there. So that could be that this JPEG is damaged, or it could be that it's not actually a JPEG and the extension is incorrect. So let's just have a look at the picture or the supposed picture. So we're just going to use shotwell and picture.jpg and hit enter, and it's a blank screen. Now that's because this JPEG file is actually just an empty file. There is nothing in it, no header information, absolutely nothing. I just created an empty file and called it picture.jpg. And file picked up on that. So now let's try some other files. So let's go ahead and have a look at this spreadsheet.csv. Now, if you don't know what a CSV is, it stands for comma separated values. And that kind of file type is generally used for databases or Excel spreadsheets, stuff like that. So let's type file 
and then spreadsheet dot csv and hit enter and it's telling us that this file contains ascii text and if we just use less and have a look at it you can see that it is some readable values so now let's try and use file on another file that's there so let's try another spreadsheet dot ods so file another spreadsheet dot ods hit enter there we go it's detected it as an open document spreadsheet that's definitely correct and you can literally type in any file to get file to detect what is actually in there so let's just do screencast.sh which is a shell file shell script and yep it's a born again shell script and it's readable text so we could actually see what's inside of it now file is very good at determining what's actually inside of a file but it doesn't really work too well with source code as I'll show you now so we're just going to have a look at this .java file which is actually java code and I know it's java code because I wrote it so we're just going to have a look at what that's detected as so file and then database interaction .java and then if we hit enter it's detected it as ASCII C and it thinks it's a program which is correct it is some type of source code but it's not C it's actually Java so it has got 50% of the way there it's detected there is some kind of program some kind of source code and it is readable so if we just type in less and then database interaction .java, you can see that we can read what's inside of it but it is most definitely Java code. So file does have its limitations in those respects, but nonetheless, it is quite a useful command to bear in mind, especially if you're on a system that doesn't have a graphical user interface. And you want to see if you can actually read a file. So if you can actually use less to have a look at it without crashing your terminal or use cat or more or any of those so that's the file command for more information on the file command if you just type man file you can have a look at the manual pages and it's quite a long manual page and it explains some of the changes that have been made to the file command and it's worth having a look at so that's the end of that tutorial on the file command. I hope you found it useful and thanks for watching. Goodbye.